Uh, it wasn't so long ago uh, that we had uh, this uh, particular guest uh, on the show, uh, Michael O'Farrell, talking about uh, the wonderful Escapade Festival, which took place on the weekend. Michael joins us again this morning. Uh, you're on the front page of the newspaper, but for all the wrong reasons today. Uh, and first of all, coming off a highly successful event, were you, uh, were you surprised at how popular Escapade Festival was this year and how well it went? Yeah, for us, you know, we went from a one-day festival with one stage and a small parking lot venue downtown to a two-day, three-stage, 40-plus DJ uh, festival. For us, it was a big task. Um, but crazy reviews yeah. uh, from the artist standpoint, from a festival goer standpoint. So yeah. for, for us, it was a huge success. The crowd was crazy. Oh, the crowd was yeah. going nuts for 12 hours straight each day. It yeah. was amazing. Um, and the ticket prices were, were pretty healthy, and obviously a lot of people paid that money to go see your show. Now, unfortunately, all, uh, all of the money, or at least most of it, you made from... Uh, ticket sales from merchandise sales and from uh, alcohol sales, alcohol yeah. sales is missing. Correct. When did you first notice something was wrong? Um, we had a scheduled meeting at 3 p.m. Monday afternoon just to go over finalizing all the accounting over the weekend with our accountant. To pay your bills? Yeah, and exactly. So? Well, just to finalize the numbers and the books and, you know, to uh, cash out the bars and whatnot. All the partners were supposed to be there. And we opened the vault at 2 o'clock just to like, start getting going and money was missing. So the money was, uh, you had a particular vault. There's a vault the money at the was, baseball stadium. It's right. a huge bank vault. Right, where the money was supposed to be stored. Correct. You go and open this vault. Correct. You and your two other... Uh, two uh, me the, and the accountant. You and the accountant. Yeah. And there's nothing in nothing. it? Nothing. There are four... change left. Four change. partners in DNA Presents, am I correct? Five, yes. Five altogether? Yeah. And one of those people is missing? He's missing right now. And police are currently looking for Correct. Him. His name is uh, Nick Vachon, who you've worked with and known for a number of years. Yeah, 15 years. Been a friend of mine for 15 years. Kind of grew up together. Yeah. Um, you've been partners for many years. And we have different ventures and whatnot. So right, right. It's kind of, kind of hard to take right now. You've, uh, you went looking for Mr. Vachon, yeah. right? You, you tried to find him at his hotel room, yeah. at his apartment, uh -huh. and no, no sign of this no man. No sign. At that time, you know, we kind of just, you know, decided to go to the police. You know, we were missing that money. Right. And the whereabouts of, of Nick were not known, so yeah. we filed a report with the that, police. That investigation continues today. Yes. There's been no news uh, we that have, you've heard we, of. We have no news. We'd like to get some news. Uh, we have no news. So basically, we're meeting with our accountants and lawyers today just to go over, you know, financial state of the festival and how, how to move forward, you know. Well, no, no matter what happened to the money, the fact is it's missing. Yeah, exactly. And you have bills to pay in regard to this festival, do you not? Yes, we do. Like, not all of the performers have been fully paid, is that correct? Um, most of them have, uh, very few, and they will be paid in the next couple of days. Just, we have to go over the, the whole financial state of the festival, you know, the budgets, right. The, right. The, you know, balance sheets and whatnot, just to determine, you know, make a list of... Like, are are there bills, Michael, that you still have not paid from this past weekend? There's probably a couple, a handful. Uh, don't right. know them all, basically. It's all our accountants. Uh, that we have to go through with that. Right. Yeah. So this uh, this company of yours, DNA Presents, is on the up and up. Yeah, it was. You right. know, it's, it was it's pretty been, getting pre pretty success. De definitely, you know, for the past two years, we've worked hard on, on the brand. Um, you know, building a good client base, building success successful shows uh, throughout the city. So yeah, uh, this was definitely a staple event for us. It was definitely something that we think was going to catapult us to another level. And, and from the looks of things, it did. It has, and it right. has. You know, in a sense, it has. Um, it hasn't. You know, tarnish. You know, the festival gore uh, paid what they uh, got, what they paid for. Right. Are Are you worried that uh, the missing money and so on, and the circumstances surrounding it, will tarnish your image as a company? I don't believe so. I think we have a lot of sympathy from you know our friends and from the pu the public. So right. I think we'll be able to you know. Will you go survive the, missing yes, all this money? I, I believe we'll be able to go through the hurdle and you know survive. And you right. know, 2013 right. uh, will come along and. We'll have another successful festival. What What do you do uh, right now? Obviously, you're waiting for word from the police yes. and, and so on. Is that uh, all you can do at this point? Yeah, it's a waiting game, basically. You know, we have to move forward as a company as well. Uh, we can't just stop working. We have to, you know, move forward. Uh, we'll get better direction from our accountant right. and lawyer. Right. Um, so yeah. we'll see. You know, in you, the next couple of days, weeks, we'll dictate. You know, where we where we stand and how we move forward. You've got advisors and people who yes, are kind definitely. of pointing in the right direction exactly. now because. When situations like this occur, who knows what to do? Exactly. Right. Yeah, you know. 
we got to run, but uh, Michael, I want to thank you for coming in to see us. I want to congratulate you on the success of your event. I know it was hugely successful, and hopefully uh, this, uh, this uh, situation can be resolved in a positive fashion. Thanks, man. Thanks for your time.